hello and welcome to another postman tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how you can save your requests and a bit more about the collections in postman so in order to save the request the reason why you need to save the request is so that you do not lose your work and that is the main reason that you create the collections and how to create the collection and save the request and structure them properly so that you can reuse them later in your future uh, testing so now this is the request if you have um, that we have used in the last tutorial and we have sent a get request and got the response now if you see this little red dot here or the orange dot here that shows that this request has not been saved yet so in order to save this particular request you can simply click on the save button here or click on the drop down here to save as okay so if you click on save as it will pick the request name whatever name that is there in the get request you can provide the description of this request which is optional so you don't necessarily need to provide it but it's good practice to provide the description of the request name that you are uh, going to save and then below here you will see select a collection or folder to save to so here it will list all the folders or collections that are available in your instance or you can create your own so here this is the search box to search the collection folders or you can create a new folder so if you click on this create folder link it will give you the um, option to put the name of the folder and say, uh, save to that particular folder so for example I say test folder okay and just click the stick mark and now this uh, this particular folder is selected okay and you can click on save to test folder and now here in the collection you will see that a test folder has been created below shuffle deck now this is the child of shuffle deck if you want to create a folder at the same level what you need to do is just click on save as and provide the description uh, provide the name uh, description is optional and then click on create folder so what we'll do is we will click on create and rather than putting uh, creating this particular folder at this particular level or the child of the shuffle deck will go back and to the all collections and then create a collection here rather than the folder below the collection so I'll say test folder root tick mark and then click on test folder root and now you can see that instead of folder being created at uh, as a child of shuffle deck it has been created as the root folder and the request has been saved there now if you want to save the other requests say for example you want to save the method for the post you just send the request and accordingly you just click on save as and save that particular request and you will see that the method have been listed so first one is the get the other one is post you can see easily uh, structured in this test folder now if you could just click on save it will just overwrite what has been saved in this particular post and if we change it to get again and send this request then save it will again get overwritten here so you can see that the post method has been changed to get now and has been saved if we change it to post again and save it will again change to say post so that is how you save the requests in postman now a bit more about the collection so if you click on new collection here you can create the collection directly from this collections tab and provide the collection name and then click click on uh, create collection if you want to provide the description um, if there is any authorization that you are looking for you want to provide you can provide that uh, prerequisite uh, script or tests or variables so these are all the functionalities that are applicable to the collection the reason being that 
the whole purpose of collection is to structure or combine the commonly used test cases which are which have the similarities within them uh, and the request within them to into one particular folder and so that your work is bit structured if you do not make collections and save your work accordingly say for example i want to store all my get requests in one folder all my post request in another folder or based on the logical um, understanding and how the function uh, how the functionality is for the particular api or the test cases i want to structure it accordingly into the collection and that's the whole reason you create the collection and once you create the collection you can provide the description of that particular collection the authorization so for example the request in this particular collection or folder uh, requires uh, the same authorization for all the requests you just provide the authorization or the type whatever authorization and provide the access token or username and password depending on the uh, whether it's a basic auth or it's a oauth1 oauth2 and you provide that particular or authorization if there is any prerequisite uh, pre-request script then you provide it here which will be run before the script will be executed before every request in this collection so you can provide this particular script uh, and if there are tests then they will be executed after every request in this collection so all these functionalities will cover later as well so for creating collection this is another way to create collection and save the request i'll discard these changes and go back to the collections tab here and below the collection we have the child folder and you if you want to create another child folder you just click on the ellipse here and click on add folder and then it will open the same window i'll just say test and click on create and there will be a child folder test created below that wherein you can go ahead and add requests just by clicking on this link here you can provide the request name description and the collection will be uh, selected automatically and click on save to test and the request will get saved into test so that's pretty much all about the basics of collection and how you are going to save your requests into the collection so this is just to give you a brief understanding why the structuring is important the reason being if you go to the history if you don't save your request into collections it will be all over the places and you will see something similar all the requests here but if you do it into the collection or organize them into the collection you will be able to see the structured approach and the request that are logically related into the collections so that's pretty much all about this collection tutorial and saving the request into collection hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching